good morning and welcome to the first episode of the Pinnacle Vlog. I was going to uh, run through everything I did this morning for breakfast, but I ended up <laughs> leaving the memory card at the shop. So instead I've had to come back to the shop, grab the memory card, missed out on all the morning footage, but um, I figured now's a better time than any to get it done. Leading up till now, I, um, I think I've zoomed in on myself a little bit here. I'm going to zoom back. There we go. <laughs> <laughs> I figured now's a better time than any to actually start vlogging. Uh, I had something trigger my head the other week. Someone said something that triggered the thought of perfectionism is the enemy of progression. And for ages, I was always not vlogging, not doing more video stuff because I was like, well, my camera setup's not that great or my you know, editing skills aren't that great. But I figured I just need to get it done, start documenting things, um, and then be able to actually be able to put the content out there. This morning we're going to run through a beach session just up the road from the shop because I'm fortunate enough to be about 30 seconds from the beach. So we're going to do a workout then I'll come back to the shop and we'll run through the morning routine of packing orders and all the exciting stuff from there. And so my camera skills are definitely still, <laughs> I'm still trying to learn and get good at this whole vlogging thing, I'm trying to actually set the angle up correctly when I'm filming but um, I'll get there and you guys can learn along with me so we're literally just driving up the road I'm gonna meet Zeke up there but another mate he's gonna train with us as well run through a session come back eat some food and uh go from there but oh, I'm so lucky to only have this little beach up the road and like what is it now it's 13 degrees so yeah it's crap polar Listening to principles at the moment, it's pretty good, but I think I need to put on something that's a little bit more motivating before we actually work out. See you guys in a minute. Well, have you come to join us to work out this morning? To come to get, to come to get swole. Look, I was, I was nearly going to wear the same hoodie, but we didn't. So we've had Zeke Wolf come and join us to work out this morning. Grab all these dumbbells, carry them up to the beach, and then just rip in. Just drop him off here. Come pull your weight, fellas. I got two twenties and one seventeen. So, look, yeah. <laughs> they're, not, they're, they're, not, they're not see that's why I'm lucky at the beach they don't have to be hexagonal they're so circle these aren't crossfit dumbbells <laughs> one more grab this one and rip in yeah <laughs> I'm thinking we do some sort of uh, rounds for, or like some sort of capped, capped round, multi-round workout, like we do overhead squats, overhead lunges, dumbbell snatches and a run every like five, or every six or something. You haven't even wrote the workout? I haven't wrote the workout. We'll think of it now. We'll think of it now. <laughs> <laughs> So, we're gonna run through. It's one round every five of 10 each arm of an alternating clean and press, 10 overhead dumbbell squats, and then 10 total overhead reverse lunges. And we'll do some heel sprints, probably two heel sprints each round rest. We'll do six rounds like that. Let's get it. Two rounds down. My legs are absolutely burning already. This is the first like chunk of actual fitness I've done <laughs> since uh, all the gyms closed down. So eight weeks of pretty much just like resistance training with a barbell at home. So this sucks to be honest. 
These boys are doing alright. Alright, it was good. I haven't played it since the latest update. But the battery's gonna die soon, so we got two rounds to go. And then I'll probably continue this vlog once we get back to the shop. But uh the battery's gonna die. So heading into the packing order section of the morning. So I've just got breakfast from the anchor with the guys that I train with. Not hardcore dieting at the moment, so kind of indulged there. I printed out all of the packing slips and the uh, consignment notes. And I have a packing summary which contains all of the things that I need to grab off the shelf. So then essentially I'll just walk around the shop, grab everything that I need to grab, start packing orders. I've been um, in a situation where I can get out here a bit early now, obviously all the gyms are closed and normally I would be doing clients of a morning um, and then I'd kind of rush out to the shop, start packing orders after I've trained clients. But um, now that all of the gyms are closed, I pack orders, get out here a little bit earlier and I don't have to uh, rush as much to kind of get all of the orders out on time before the um, posty guy gets here at 12. So that's always good and that means that it gives me a lot more time to get other stuff done in the day because I'm not just spending most of the time packing orders. So pros and cons of this situation, but um, I'm going to start grabbing everything off the shelf. Got the uh, the old Joe Rogan episode on and I'll kind of pump that up on the back packing orders. So, And then essentially all I'll do is while the podcast is fine, I'll just sit here, pack the orders. Pretty simple. It's just the going through the process of grabbing whatever invoice we're up to, grabbing the products that we've already grabbed off the shelf, slap the uh, consignment note onto the satchel, bubble wrap, whatever we've got, jam it in. Most of the orders, like obviously if it's over 60 bucks, they get one of the free air fresheners we've got. It's pretty much only token up that's left and we've got it in the, that like Metallica design that we had. But we've got like a Nordic Wolfhead one that's coming in in two new cents, so that'll be, um, that will be, the new design that we'll do and we'll most likely do that on a shirt as well and then give out those air fresheners with those shirts but back in it this was just one of the free free shipping over 54 dollars so normal parcel post and then we just separate the orders here so packed. pack it up leave it in the bag and then i'll plot along over probably just the next hour just packing all these orders so there's literally nothing exciting to yeah, to vlog yeah. to be honest but I figured I'd just show the back end of it especially because I'm so proud of my little packing room <laughs> yeah. so I'm going to go through some editing on the uh, Instagram post I'm about to put up now. I've been asked before what I use for the Instagram editing and then even like web design stuff. Obviously, I just use Shopify, like I mentioned before, and then I'll edit out the template using like different assets that I create in Illustrator for it. People can use things like Canva. I remember I, I was using Canva when I was first started Pinnacle and like I'm not even... I, Literally have no idea what I'm doing. There's half of these tools on this left menu. I've got no idea what to do. I still even have the basic layout. I know a lot of people who are serious with Adobe have all different um, layouts depending on what they're doing. But I, I seriously have no idea what I'm doing. Every time I have an idea, I'll just like YouTube it to be like how to do X, Y, Z in Illustrator or Photoshop or whatever Adobe thing that I need. So. You can teach yourself bits as you're going and you kind of have the idea of what you want to create. I use Fiverr a bit as well with some things, um, but Illustrator, Photoshop, they've been the bomb. So you can use, like I think I mentioned just a second ago, you can use Canva. That was one thing I've used for a while and then I just transitioned over to Illustrator because you obviously have uh, way more freedom with that. But most of the Instagram posts and stuff, I'll just add it up in here and I'm about to upload this one now. Have this bang in 3D and uh, probably finish off the day with some uh, <laughs> YouTube, I guess. <laughs> no, I'll, I'll, I'll probably start going back into uh, more uh, preparing more Instagram posts for the rest of the week and having a look at, uh, having a look at Twitter, having a look at 
a lot of the other socials and now that I've replied to like the emails I'll go and do a lot of the social stuff as well so see if there's any esports on that I can throw on the TV in the back and watch those and that is pretty much it for the day I've got a, a little little man little robot going hard time to shut everything up and uh whoop, chill out for the afternoon but uh and one more